when you get your first movie, Dazed and Confused, I mean, your first big thing, and the movie was a big movie, you, like, just kind of decided to be an actor because you meet some guy in a bar who's a casting director, right? Yeah. Where was the bar? Austin, Texas, on, uh, I think it was down on First Street. And you're sitting there, what, are you having a beer or something? I'm there with my girlfriend, order a drink. I'm there because the bartender was in film school with me, not acting school, but right. film school, and he gave me free drink. Yeah, you wanted to be a director, right? That was your sort of focus at that point. Yeah, behind the camera. Yeah, maybe I'll be behind the camera, whatever. And then you're sitting there, and some casting director dude comes up to you and says, hey, you're, you're a good-looking dude. Well, the, guy, the bartender says, the guy at the, the, the end of the uh, bars in town producing a film. So I go introduce myself. <laughs> right. His name is Don Phillips. What would you say to Don Phillips? I said, I introduced myself, yeah. and I said, hey, you're in town working on a film. And he goes, yeah, yeah, I'm working on this film producing, and I'm casting. It's called Days Confused. What do you want? And so he was kind of off-putting to yeah, me, right. like I'm some kind of yeah, local. Hey, stupid. Uh -huh. What do you want? So... We started shooting the shit, and all of a sudden, we, we both knew we played golf. We had a similar course we had played. Cut to three hours later, we get kicked out. Right. Um, for being a little <laughs> rambunctious. And on the ride home, in a taxi, he says, Hey, Matthew, you ever done any acting? <laughs> any of that acting stuff? You ever stuff? done any acting? If yeah. you know Don Phillips, people out there go, this is what he sounds like. But, and, he's, and I said, well, I was in a Miller Lite commercial for about mm, that long. Yeah. I'd say it was more of a modeling job for a half a second. <laughs> right. And he goes, well, come to this address in the morning if you're interested. You might be just right for this part. Mm. I go down and pick up the script. The day's confused. Yeah. And uh, Richard Linklater was the director. Yep. And so he meets with you, right? I go home. There's three lines. I go home and back to Longview, Texas, and work on these three lines for three weeks. What were the three lines? Do you even remember? Well, one's the, one's the great line. The I call it a launch pad line. Right. Where you get a line like this, and you go, oh, there's a, there's a whole fucking book on this character. <laughs> and it's a guy. It's Wooderson out front of the uh, pool hall. The, the girls walk by. He reaches over. He slaps one on the backside as she passes. And his buddy says, you're going to go to jail for that. you got to cut that out. And he says, no, man. That's what I love about high school girls, man. I keep getting older, but they say the same age. <laughs> now you get a line like that, uh, philosopher. Whoa, yeah, <laughs> you know you're like genius. So as soon as I get that line, I'm like, who is this cat? Right. <laughs> and you, you know, you could write a book on somebody if they believe that. And sure. so I ended up working three weeks. Yeah, but when you got the uh, interview with this guy Linklater, he says to you, "Hey, you're not this guy." Yeah. So I come in, <laughs> and it's a job interview, right? right. So I shave. Do my hair, I iron, <laughs> iron my shirt, oh, okay. got to have a pleat in my jeans, tucked in and Why everything, not? and I'm going to go in for my job. And, <laughs> yeah. and I walk in, and he's like, yeah, you're here to read for Wooderson. I'm like, yes, sir. And he's like, okay. Well, then I sat down, and as Rick tells me, he said, I sat in the chair, and, and he goes, okay, go ahead. And he said, I kind of just kicked back and laid my shoulders back. And did Wooderson, and he comes up, he goes, well, you're not this guy. And I said, no, I'm not this guy, but I know who this guy is. Right. And it's who I thought my middle brother was. When I was 11 and he was 17. Uh -huh. And it was through the back window of my mom's car going to pick him up from school one day because his car was broke down and she's looking for him outside the school and he's not there where he's supposed to be. Well, I see him at the back window, leaning against the wall, knee out, foot up against the wall, smoking a cigarette in the smoking section. That's the guy. He was seven, he was the coolest. <laughs> right. And, and I, I go, there he, and I remember shutting up because he'd have got his ass beat for smoking. <laughs> right. So I didn't tell mom there he was, but that image as we pulled away watching my brother. So in other words, only in acting should you not walk in for your job interview all cleanly <laughs> yeah. shaved right. and groomed. Yeah. When I walked away. Did you have a briefcase? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably did. Yeah. Probably Clipboard, did look. <laughs> pen, yeah. and a recorder. But what a break to get that. Yeah. A and uh, did your dad live long enough to see you uh, have some success? Cool thing about my dad's passing and the timing, um, he moved on five days into me working on Days Confused. Mm. So he didn't come see it, but he was alive for me to do what turned out to be my career. Mm. Right. Which there's, I got some, some nice peace in that because everything before that was a hobby. You mean your dad got to see you get a job on Dazed and Confused? Got to see me get a job that yeah. turned out to be my career. Did you think uh, Dazed and Confused was going to be a big movie? Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, I, you can't I was tell. they're paying me three hundred and twenty five bucks a day. People were inviting me back the next day it's big telling for me you. I'm good at it. <laughs> yeah. Most I had made was seventy two bucks waiting tables at Catfish Station since Teach then. me something about acting. when you prepared for that movie, Dazed and Confused, they say you listen to live doors music, Jim Morrison. Uh, specifically, and Jim Morrison said, all right, all right, all right, like probably from one of the stage announcements. And so how does that get you in touch with your character? Because well, all right, all right, all right sounds like something... No, 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 not that literal at all. Number one, Link later on that film, what he did, his first piece of direction was he handed every character a cassette with a mixtape of music. He goes, this is what I think you've got to be listening to. 
Well, as a young actor, you're getting handed badass music on a cassette to go rock out to, and that's your homework? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this you listen work. to it. So that song in particular, I did not remember. This is something, there's some, I think it's a live album in like Copenhagen or something, and right. Morris is like, all some right, all right, all right, all right. He barks it out like four times. So I'm not thinking of that. But on the night where I, would, I go to do a scene, I'm not in, I wasn't supposed to do a scene. I, Rick just says, hey, I got this idea. Maybe Wooderson's picking up on the redhead intellectual. What do you think? I said, sure. He goes, you want to shoot it? I'm like, okay. So I go get in my car. Now I'm getting nervous. First scene I've ever done. It's not scripted. So I'm telling myself in my head, who's my man? Who's my man? Who's Wooderson? What am I? And I go, well, what am I about? I said, I'm about my car. Yeah. And I go, well, I'm in my 70 Chevelle. I said, I'm about getting high. I said, well, Slater's riding shotgun. He's got a Dubois rolled up. Right. I said, I'm about rock and roll. There we go. We got Ted Nugent Strangle holding the eight track. And I hear action. And so I look up and in my head I go, well, the fourth thing I'm about is chicks. And that's what I'm about to go pick up. And in my mind I said, well, you got three out of four. All right, all right, all right. And that was me confirming out loud the three things I got and I'm gonna go get the fourth. So the line was all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Oh Christ. How you doing? That's the first words I ever said on film. Wow. First words I ever said. Kind of stuck too, right? When kinda people stuck. do impressions and stuff, he's like, all right, all right, all right. It did kind of stick and, yeah. I, and I don't mind.